Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Nitro with your host Nitin Nair. Now as you know we've tried to explore as many different types of mythologies as possible from around the world and one of them that has been struggling to keep its relevance up especially because its people have been subjected to extreme gentrification and uh, exploitation over the years is the native american people of the USA as well as Canada now one of the more uh, prominent groups or tribes from native america is that of the cherokee who have had popularity in popular culture and in different parts of american history because of its rich traditions culture and practices now what we are exploring today is one of their prominent gods known as Asgaya Gigagai. Now Asgaya Gigagai is a bisexual deity believed to have been a thunder god. In North American Indian mythology, it is said that he is invoked by a medicine man or a shaman to cure sickness. This god of the Cherokees is either the red man or the red woman as the gods tend to change his gender according to the person he or she is interacting with. So if uh, the god is actually interacting with a male person, he tends to take the male form and is referred to in masculine and vice versa. He was a powerful god who could punish people for wrongdoings like lying, begging or stealing. And he was also capable of causing extreme punishment when required. Now, as with many gods in different cultures, there are colors that become very intrinsic to the depiction or the whole uh, physical attributes of the god. And in Asagaya Gigagaya's case, it's the intense color of red that has been associated. It is believed that the presence of thunder beings near the earth's surface could harm people. There were three known ones from the west, a greater spirit and his two sons. Uh, Asagaya Gigagaya was one of those two sons and he associated with being uh, a very powerful god with the power of the the thunder beings were regarded as the most powerful servants of the creator spirit, which is the supreme god in Cherokee mythology. There were two classes of these kings who lived close to the earth, and the holiest and powerful were those who lived in the land beyond the Mississippi River. Asgaya Gigagai is associated with the power of healing and depicted in red because of the intense red color they are known to generate during the healing process when they are used by a shaman. The control over natural elements like thunder and lightning is very much in line with the abilities that are associated with other gods like the Norse god Thor or the Indian god Indra. Now, very little is known about uh, these gods because they are confined to oral traditions and stories that are passed on from generation to generation among the Cherokee tribe, which once again is dwindling because of modernization and you know, the restriction to their existence within reservations in the USA. Uh, these stories are quite fantastic at times and really has set the tone in for the acceptance of a medium or an occult uh, person who is responsible for the communication between gods and man. The presence of a shaman is not something that is restricted to Native American church mythology. We can see that quite often in South American mythology and in some other mythologies from Southeast Asia as well, where communication with the Almighty or the Supreme Being is always through one who understands the language or has created enough uh, goodwill within himself among the gods that he is the chosen one to be the medium by which the gods communicate with human beings as well. Thank you very much for tuning into this quite short episode. But we'll be back with more characters from mythology. And until then, stay tuned to Mythlope, the home of Mythology.